what has this rivalry come to mean for you and just how excited do you get for, for these rival games under the Lambo light? Really, uh, really excited. Um, well, yeah, I would say really excited just because, um, you know, it's like it's like a different feel. Just the atmosphere itself, you know, we're always going to play hard. We always treat we treat everybody like a rivalry, essentially. So, um, but just the atmosphere, just how Lambo feels, kind of the the thickness and the ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. You're good. Trying to shoot the ball with you. Uh oh. Uh, just the the thickness in the air, the anticipation, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's different. It's a different. It's hard to explain, really. So. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. You know this Bears team will be coming out very confident after the type of win they got Sunday over the 49ers. What do you see with that team coming in the offense? What's the strength there? Uh, just what you said, confidence. Um, you know, their quarterback over there, he's, he's getting better. You know, he's getting better and better. He's a young guy. Obviously, he's talented. Um, you know, but he's getting better and better, you know. And uh, everything's just kind of coming together for him. They got a really good running back over there, you know. Um, two, two good running backs over there. So, um, it's going to be a challenge for us for sure. But it's one that we're up to. So. A lot, a lot of times when teams get new coordinators and coaches, you go back and watch their former team. Luke Getz's former team is this Packers offense. Yeah. So, I mean, how much do you just kind of carry over from what you remember seeing in practice last year? Um, this time of the year is always hard. Because really with every team, you know, everything's kind of new to everybody. Um, so, it's kind of tough. But, uh I don't know. We just, it's kind of hard to, to to look at, you know, our offense and, you know, Aaron and, and those guys over there um, and be like, okay, this is what we're playing this week. I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about. I guess it's the reality, but uh, we haven't watched too much Packer film, to say the least. <laughs> We've also got Justin Fields. So, I mean, is, is justifiably so, like, labeled as a dual threat. But when you label a quarterback as a dual threat, do you kind of forget what kind of passer he can be? No, absolutely not. Um, because as he's you know running around back there, he's also made some some good throws while on the move, while outside of the pocket. So, uh, you know, as the back end, we just gotta we gotta be willing to, to play as long as as he's running around. So, um, like I said, it'll be a challenge for us, but uh, we'll be up to. What have you guys talked about this week, knowing that you weren't up to standard last weekend, to make sure that you guys get back to where you guys were during training camp? Um, I would say just keeping everything the same. You know, what I'm saying not freaking out or nothing like that. You know. Uh, that's what I deal with, man. Um, anyways, like I was saying, just staying the same, uh, keeping the same mindset, staying the same course, still working hard during the week, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just not freaking out. It's just one week, and it happens to be week one, so we're not too worried. When you look at some of the big plays given up to an Andre Nye, it looked like a lot of zone. What's the key to succeeding there? Is it communication? Is it just doing your assignment. Uh, What's the key to some of it's you know just the feel, you know. Um, like I said, you know they they happen to find a lot of dead spots in our zones. Uh, it is what it is, you know. We we watch the film. We're we're gonna correct that. So uh, you know, like I said, only this week, and and we'll be excited for the opportunity. Who's mimicking uh, Fields in practice this week? Is it Jordan? Yeah, mix of Jordan and Danny too. You know, Danny's got some wheels too. So uh, <laughs> they've both been kind of tan a tandem in 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 hand on that for us. Probably Russell Wilson. That was my rookie year. So that was a long, long time ago. We played him here for a playoff game. Uh, he ran around a lot. <laughs> um, so that, I would say Russell Wilson. I would say Russell Wilson. You kind of see that in Justin? Um, uh, it's hard to kind of just, you know, because Russell, he's, the stuff that he's, he's able to do, you know, um, I don't want to, you know, downplay any of that. And I also don't want to downplay Justin. So uh, they're both great players in their, in their own respective right.